Hey, how's it going? Uh, today, this tutorial is going to cover how to make rainbowy iridescent materials. Um, and I really decided that I wanted to make these materials after looking at the work of Kit and Janae. And this woman has made some incredible materials. Um, she's really truly mastered the kind of spectral iridescent um, material or whatever. So I really want to, wanted to try and recreate as best I could these materials and had a hard time finding tutorials that actually like worked or looked good or were quick enough for me to kind of go through and understand. So this one is going to be a quick and dirty introduction that'll give you a kind of base level of information on how to get this going. And it'll be up to you to really fine tune and figure out what looks good to you and what doesn't. Yeah, so let's get started. Um, we're gonna start by double clicking to create a material, easy. Um, we double click again to open up this material editor. And what I like to do is, or what you do do, is you go down to reflectance and add a layer. Um, and I'll add Beckman, but I encourage you to experiment with these guys. Um, and we're going all the way down here to texture in the layer color menu. We'll twirl this down. Again, so many options that you should experiment with, but um, we'll go down to spectral in the effects menu, spectral, and we already have a rainbow. It's already like, okay, cool, great. Let's add this to the material. But I think a couple more tweaks will make this look even better. Um, so we'll go in and we'll add some color to this guy. And always the person to have crazy looking materials, I'm gonna add a gradient to this. Um, so if you didn't know, hopefully this will show you, here's gradient that you can go into in color. Um, it's the same menu that you um, saw in Reflectance, which is cool. So I'll double click this because I do not want the black and white. I don't think it looks good. So we'll go in and we'll create a, create a pink. You're like, oh no, the pink doesn't show up, but that's because you have to do that. Um, so I have this bubblegum pink. We're going to go to a blue, a little bit more purpley blue. There we go, perfect. And then actually I wanna put a yellow in here. And so it's really simple to go ahead and put your own um, extra knot in here. So what I'm gonna do is click this knot, press command and just drag it over. Obviously you can do this an unlimited number of times. It's awesome. Um, and actually you'll notice this type thing, this will come in handy for other things that you're doing with gradient. Um, you will change the, um, Orientation, V will change it to be more of a vertical. You will go um, left to right or right to left, whatever. Um, so there's that. So yeah, we have this material. We're like, okay, cool, great. Let's, uh, what's it gonna look like on our landscape? So we go ahead and do that and dang, I think that looks pretty darn good. Um, and something else to be like, to know about this material is that it is more noticeable the more light you add. So since this isn't a lighting tutorial and I wanna get you guys out of here quick, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a physical sky, cheat a little bit, get some light in there. So it looks like it's coming in from the left um, and that's fine, whatever, but I'm gonna cheat and try and get more of a full sunshine in here. So you will be able to see all of the spectral whatever's going on in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and render this out, Command R. And already you can see this like crazy spectral thing that's happening. And that's cool. Like we're pretty cool with that. Um, it's highly reflective, which some people don't tend to like. I also tend to mess with that too. And maybe the spectral like intensity looks a little bit screwy. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit that really quick and just show you um, how to do that. So in reflectance, we go back and we go over here to the spectral bar that we added. And we go in here and the intensity is all the way up at 200. So I'll bring it down to about 100%. I think that's fine. That'll be okay. Um, again, this is something that you're going to have to mess with um, to get what you want. Um, so we're going to go ahead and press Command R. And it's a little bit more subtle already, which is kind of nice. I think that looks good. And obviously you can apply this to several different um, objects and materials and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. I think this is enough to get you started and figuring out like spectral rainbow things going on. So yeah, thanks for joining me today and come back for more.